Hola, buenos días, soy Nico. And today, I am back in a stable environment. Nico! <laughs> Basically, my Patreon video was me in, like, my freshly moved in living room. The smoke detector was going off because we had just moved into the apartment, so nothing was necessarily ready and or fixed. And it was just a hot mess. So today, we're back to some normalcy. We're back to some peace and tranquility, if you will. But now, let's get started. <laughs> so essentially, today, we're going to be talking about a collab that I didn't necessarily see happening. But when you think about it, it makes sense because they are in proximity. So today we're going to be talking about how Jose Vargas, a famous NYC boxer, has made a public statement saying that his collab with EJ on Demon Time, Nico, NYC Throat Goat himself, yes, their collab was due to him being depressed. And he wanted to make a public statement apologizing to his friends, to his family and to his fans because he is not gay he is not bisexual he says that he is still fully heterosexual and nico you know i'm not gonna judge i want to open this broader dialogue i want to have an open-minded conversation about what is heterosexuality and what is the limit of it when it comes to sexual experimentation Nico, because I know a lot of gay people, a lot of gay boys, <laughs> who have children. And that's not necessarily saying they have a surrogate. That's not saying they became intimate with a woman for the sole fact of having a child with their significant other. But that when they were growing up, they experimented with a woman and they got her pregnant. And now they have children but are fully gay. And that's an interesting dialogue that we haven't seen in the limelight because... This man says that he is heterosexual and seeing his videos on YouTube, seeing his videos on Instagram where he bap, 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 he knows how to bop and weave. I'm not going to sit up here and say he's anything else because we're both in New York City. <laughs> Nico, you will not catch me walking around like, uh, just because I made a YouTube video. That's not going to happen to me. But, um, but we will talk about how the shame that comes with sexual experimentation is usually what causes these people to have some form of backlash and also make these quote-unquote public statements because ej on demon time nyc throat goat himself if you did not know his brand is usually servicing trade dl men hyper masculine men and just giving them that gobble me swallow me drip down side of me you know just that work and his work is very valid. Nico, I've seen a few of his videos and it looks like he knows what he's doing. He has a good time. They have a good time. And that's all that matters at the end of the day. Point is his brand is basically turning out quote unquote straight and or DL men. And from what I've heard, he's made public statements that he will no longer be dealing with DL men just because it does usually come with backlash, especially when it's tied to business like this. As we can see with this man recanting, his consent for the collab and making public statements saying that this isn't who he is, this isn't what he represents. So I definitely agree with EJ on Demon Time basically pulling back and saying, you know what, I'm just going to focus on making films with content creators if those were his words verbatim. That's just the word on the street. If he still chooses to deal with DL and or straight men, that's perfectly fine. But in this process, a lot of people have begun to call out the act of him targeting straight men to flip them. And it was funny because this person basically said, yeah, he tends to target straight men. And I don't know why he's so dead set on doing so. But EJ then posted a screenshot of their DMs where that same person was basically asking, can you help me turn out straight men? Because there's a straight man that I really want to give that guac guac, but I feel like he would be insulted if I approach him. And that's another thing that I wanted to touch on before we continue this conversation. I don't understand why y'all try to attack people and throw people under the bus when you have personal interactions with them and they can put you on blast. Nico, I really don't understand why you would fully walk into the crossfires when you know somebody has a loaded clip. But moving on, when we get back to Jose and we get back to EJ, 
I feel like the conversation around Jose is more complicated because not only has he now experimented with a fully male collab, but even in the collab, you could see that he was more focused on his phone, which was of heterosexual adult cinematography to keep him in a steady zone, kind of like Beefcake Hunter. Nico, if you don't know who Beefcake Hunter is, he is an older gentleman who tends to target young heterosexual or hypermasculine men and makes adult cinematography videos with them, allowing them to watch heterosexual adult cinematography while he works his <laughs> magic. So I'm not going to necessarily say that Jose is gay because he had the similar situation with EJ. But I will say that he is more open sexually than he leads on, even though he leads with his heterosexuality. For example, videos have arrived of him using super happy adult fun time accessories on himself. Ones of the size that would make even me blush. And you have seen what I've done on camera. <laughs> so if he can take that. I feel like he's been experimenting with his sexual exploration to some degree. It kind of reminds me of Dreamy Bull, though. Um, Dreamy Bull is that heterosexual content creator that does the, I'm busting his eyes roll back and, you know, the dramatics or whatever. I actually did a video on him about people trying to dox him for not giving out the content he promised to give. And he is fully heterosexual with a actual family, a wife and two children. So when it comes to Jose, I can't necessarily say that he's gay because he experiments with his sexuality. I can't even say that he's gay because he followed the old time rule of a whole as a whole. But what I will say is that trying to backpedal and use mental health as the reason that you agreed to do a man on man collab with a well known gay content creator is pretty silly. That he could have just chalked it up to a lot of my patrons have been asking me to do man on man content especially since i do super happy adult fun time accessory content and you know the money was looking green on the other side and i decided to just tiptoe and try it out because everybody is free to have some form of exploration when discovering their sexuality at the end of the day he did seem energetic in the collab at the end of the day he did seem to be enjoying himself but he was still locked solely on the screen and not even looking at ej so I can't say whether he's gay, whether he's straight or bi, because I'm not allowed to dictate someone else's sexuality. If he continues to identify as straight, then that's how I'll see him, especially since this was a one off. You know, when people bring up the conversation of super happy adult fun time accessory play and makes it seem like heterosexual men cannot find pleasure from the back door, I think that's a little silly because we always have the conversation of the prostate being in the rectum. So saying that because he is trying to stimulate that part of him that makes him homosexual, I can't co-sign that, especially because he's not engaging with actual men. So at the end of the day, I would have handled it a little better, you know, if you would have worded it a bit better rather than just saying I was in a dark place so I agreed to do this collab with a well-known gay throat goat. I feel like the conversation and the entire situation could have went on a lot smoother. But now that we have the facts, now that we have all the information available, I want to know what your opinion is. How do you feel about heterosexual men experimenting with their sexuality and leaning into the gay realm, but then backpedaling whenever it comes out? Because when women talk about their sexual explorations, they never have to say, oh, well, I was in a dark space. You know, I was not really into that. They say, I wanted to see what it was like. I tried it and it wasn't for me. But it seems like there's a societal pressure for men to stay on the straight and narrow. Even though in your lifetime, most men, heterosexual, gay, bisexual, will experiment to some degree with their sexuality to see what they are actually interested in. How do you feel about EJ on Demon Time targeting heterosexual men predominantly for their super happy adult fun time content, especially because that seems to be what sells in our community when you put a hyper masculine man at the forefront and have them doing quote unquote gay things that make them slightly uncomfortable or they're afraid to get out. Definitely drop your opinions down below because this is a conversation we haven't had to really tackle recently because most of the quote unquote straight content creators that do gay collabs or do, you know, gay oriented content they never actually fully go there once again i believe the only one that really did was tanks in love and even then mm, it was a good minute ago so definitely drop your opinions down below do you think it was because of the pressure or do you think it was because of that bag do you think it was just curiosity or do you think it was just job oriented i'll let you decide Boop.
And now for a brief yet sincere shout out to this week's third eye tier subscribers, Paul W and Harvey E. Your support and continued support is greatly appreciated. Thank you once again. And this week's live stream conversation is going to be a virtual hangout. Once again, I don't have my recording equipment, but I am in a quiet and stable enough place to host the live streams. If that sounds interesting to you, definitely tune in.